Make sure the girl's got plenty of food for while I'm gone. Dude, I want that van. <laughs> There's multi bars too. That's a bad boat. Sell my house to get that thing. Right. Yeah, dude. They go quick, by the way, and that's all I got for today. So here's a uh, twenty percent off my website for you. All right, awesome. Thank you, man. Yes, sir. Let's go check that out. I turned around and said something to you and you wasn't there. Yeah, well, they're uh, three for 15. That's a big old cat. Good for marabou's too. Oh yeah, yeah, they have to uh, That's what a lot of people use them for. Man. Yeah. They'll buy them and sell, you know, they'll do, because right now, you know, a lot of those guys are selling uh, like big G-Box kits, right? But that's, you know, that's, you see, I spent so much money on G-Boxes. Them little tap holes are nice. Those are perfect little crappie layers there. That color right there, that would be probably the best one at Buckeye. That black with chartreuse tail. Black with a chartreuse tail, like the little tubes and like that. Dude, you can't beat it at Buckeye. I'm here to dump my money into one of the eight inches. Eight inches? Yeah. Right here? Yeah. Okay, you want this one or okay. this one? It's going flat, so it had okay. to be this one. Okay. Now get you taken care of, sir. Just one, right? Yeah, just one. Not two, three? Four? Three, three, so, uh, three, where am I gonna put the third one up off the front? Listen, I know people that specifically have four of these for each corner of the boat. Like, yeah, that's too much. Current only runs one way, you know. <laughs> listen, listen, however way people want to outfit their boat, I say power to you. Uh, yep. All right. So here's the money I owe you. Down here? Yeah, that's your mom. All set. Thank you, sir. Will do. I'm Mitchell Hudson. I am from Ohio. This is our brand right here, Fishing Frenzy. We do tackle. We do rattles, bait, whatever you want in Ohio. He said they hand sharpen all their stuff. Every one of these hooks ain't go is going to be flawless because they handle every single one.
they're shrink wrap they got all different colors where they paint them you guys got to check these out i'm gonna get a pack give them a try uh, I, I appreciate you guys <laughs> yeah i'm gonna get a pack and check these things out okay. trying to decide what color i want where's the eight dots i like an eight dot all right um if they're not on this side then they're gonna be on this side i'll look for you real quick i don't know what color i want so many options <laughs> are they this side eight or... Yeah, these are our eights right here. That one right there, that thing's awesome. Yeah, that's one of my favorite ones that we have. That's a hottie there. These we only do for veterans unless it's uh, 4th of July. Gotcha. Unless it's 4th of July, Veterans Day, and Memorial Day. We only will sell those to veterans. What's the total? <laughs> if you emphasize the Z on Fish and Friends Z. I guess if you want to say it that way. It is emphasized, it's spelled out. I think you should put a 30. Yeah? <laughs> Are you serious? Can you give me just a second? I, my brain is not working at the moment. <laughs> I'm going to go bother Keith then at Fish and Stuff. I'll be back over by you later. Okay, TKJ? Yep, TKJ Fishing, man. Go subscribe. Try to hit 500. Want to hit 500? I'm catching cooking a carp. So get me there. I got you. <laughs> I'm subscribe right now. All right, guys, we just got back from the 2024 Catfish and Crappie Expo or Catfish and Crappie Conference, and uh, I think we did awesome. We sure like, did. It was uh, a lot of fun. Got a lot of stuff for decent pricing. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to go to any other expo next year. It's just going to be CatCon. It was well worth it. Way better than it. Like, I had high expectations, and it was everything and more. Yeah, we for sure. We pretty much got everything we wanted. Yeah, I mean, for yeah. the first time going and we were there open to close. Yeah. Never a dull moment of stuff to look at. Yeah, it was a lot of driving, but, it was, you know, it was worth it. I would drive to Louisville every year for this. <laughs> it's only once a year, you know? Yeah, for we're sure. We're going to have to drive farther than that for fishing eventually. <laughs> yeah, So especially so I can fish in some different waters. Yeah. And like I've fished a lot of places, but just not on video. And I want to get more <laughs> of these places on video that I've gone. For sure. Uh, so we'll kind of start where we started. Where did we kind of start at? Um, I would start over there with the meats. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So Brandon got these. It's a dark water premium baits. They're it's Asian carp. It's cut and sealed, shelf life of a year. Uh, you have to look them up. It's, I don't know if we have his card somewhere. The You can feel the fillets are cured. They're really firm. They, they use, everything's food grade, so it's all non-toxic. There's uh, no garbage going into the water. It's I mean, it's pure. And I mean, the stuff is super firm. And I've never fished with Asian carp for bait, so it you know it'd be interesting to see make use of the most invasive thing we have. Well, thankfully we don't have it yet here. <clears throat> we got uh, this is red garlic here, and then we got a strawberry one. So we're I probably gonna bust one of those open I like hopes. real soon. Yeah, for sure. And if it is. Uh... We paid eleven dollars. It's twelve dollars on yeah. the website. Expo prices, a dollar off. At twelve dollars, you could order them. He'll ship it wherever. Uh, do you remember where he said he was out of? Was it Louisiana? I don't know. He's out of somewhere down south, I think. Could yeah. have been Oklahoma. I we talked to so many people today. <laughs> I know. Um, so we'll just go right to left. Read it backwards. Yeah. Uh, Brandon also was working on his bass tackle box. He got some. Uh, Chunky D, Bama Crawls, and some of Rapala's new Crush City, the Mayor swim baits. So it's good spring colors. The orange on the bottom of the crawl and red and orange swim baits. Those ought to be killer in the spring. We'll see. And then uh, these ATX lures. We're kind of both excited about these. Uh, we're going to do a lot more crappie fishing this year. And Brandon likes eating crappie as much as I do, so we got a lot of crappie Absolutely. stuff. Absolutely. Uh, these ATX lures, most of them are twin tails. We got some good colors. As those of you who do a lot of crappie fishing know, they like stuff that looks as unrealistic and unnatural as possible. Different colors. This uh, 
this right here is like my favorite color pattern for crappie all around, especially here on my home lake. And then we got some stuff with pink in it too, because I did really well on pink last year. So yeah, considering you're the only one who caught them on pink. <laughs> yeah. So we got a pink and green one here. It's a little bigger. It was what, two and two and a quarter. But some of these crappie we pulled out of here, they'll eat a lot more than that. I've caught them on four inch swim baits before. So it just depends on how bad they want it. And then uh, we got some original crappie magnets over here too. And they're in that color pattern. I believe they're a twin tail grub too. Yeah. A bunch of different crappie magnet stuff. Just try out some different ones. We did sparkles. Yep. Not sure how they're gonna hold up, but all we can do is test them out. Yeah, everything in the water loves glitter. Nothing on land does. Or glitter, sparkles. The same thing. Whatever you wanna call it. Did some more pink and black. Some more. Now these ones are actually for bass and crappie. Try them out, see what we catch. Yeah, that's all we can do. Then we also saw a new company there that we haven't seen before. It's Cast Cray. Uh, Brandon got some, uh, oh, I forgot about the Crush City Freeloaders is another one you got. It's another bait you got there from Rapala. These uh, Cast Crays, these are all bass baits, right? Yes. I didn't see that color, that's kind of cool. Well, I was just trying something new. These were crickets. Yeah, I believe they're, they're those were crickets. These are crawls. Are they? Yeah. I don't know if the color is war ants or funky chicken, but I mean, it kind of looks like raw chicken with some pink glitter on it, but that's a color I've never seen before. See how that does. That one's, that one's, uh, looks like a centipede. Shiner? Yeah, they had them called something different. Yeah, that's like, so that's like it's a, a bug. Yeah. That's what it was under. What do you call them things? It's not mayfly larva or is it? It's one of those larvae that makes little things out of stones. The fly fishing guys will know what them things are called. It's a, I can't think of it. I keep wanting to say aphid, but it's not aphid. You guys know what we're talking about, I hope. And this one's what, red crawl? Yep. Cherry seed, crazy crawl. I think it's the only thing I got that was pure red just to try it out. Right, it's already cooked the lobster. And then uh, Cast Cray had this other line called Crap Slap. Got some, uh, what is it? What is this color? Silver pearl. It's got like some red flake in it, but it's pretty translucent, like clear twister tail. And then these are twister tails, right, too? Oh, these are the little swim baits. Mini swimmers. You know, Matt really likes these tiny swim baits. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of them, but he likes them. They work for him. These look like they're softer plastic. They might move better than those Kytex. Yeah. I like that color too at slime time. So we'll see how those do. And these are the funky ones that have the five tentacles with like the ball on each Oh side. yeah, the real weird shaped ones. Yeah. I figured we'd give them a shot. What are they called? Two inch duster, flow dream sickle. Uh, flow's I think short for fluorescent. Like, I don't know if you guys can kind of Turn the light a little bit. It's kind of like the Strike King Joker where it's got like the balls on the tail. But it looks like these have like four or five tails with the balls on them and are like a four segmented grub body. Just more motion. It'd be something so interesting to try. Like I said, it's not like anything I've seen before. <clears throat> and then I've used these on the channel. You guys have probably seen these. The uh, crappie magnet uh, fin spins. I love these things, man. They're uh they're great with like a little two, three Joshi on them. And another company we met, we interviewed, uh, well, not really interviewed. We talked to Mitchell on video. He's a kid at the booth for Fishing Frenzy. Let's, uh, let's see if you can see that name right there. And I talked more about it there, man, but like, I don't think the color of the hook so much matters. Like you see like, like hooks that say like bleeding, whatever. These are orange, they match my Hellcat and they got the heat shrink on them. And like I said in the video, you know, they they handle every single hook, so they should be flawless. Uh, what else do we get from them? 
Oh, you got the, it's kind of like the demon dragon. I don't know what they exactly called it, but it's got kind of like a frog looking head, snake eyes, kind of a different shape. But there's that. So they said they clear coat them, right? So they could handle a lot more damage. They don't start getting scratched up and stuff. I believe so. Was there something they did? I think it was clear coat he was talking about. They put a clear coat on them. It kind of makes them more durable. And then... Obviously, we had to get some more big white joshies. We love them things. The uh, 325s. Right. Um, went with these. Never used this brand before. The OTH Fishing uh, Mag Minnows. They're like a soft swim bait. But they they don't paddle at the tail. It's like yeah, it's, it's at a the front tail, but it's got a like a bill at the front, like a crankbait. What does the OTH stand for? Doesn't say, does it? No. So we'll see how it does. I thought yeah. they looked kind of cool. Yeah, they're definitely different. Nothing like I've ever seen. <laughs> they're like a a rubber segmented swim bait with like a hard like a glide bait kind of tail, and they've got a a rubber bill on them. So I've never seen anything like it. They call it the Magmino. Obviously, had to go with bobbers. These, I can't find these bobbers anywhere. They use like a toothpick peg. Nasty Nate's had some. I didn't see them when we were with Columbus. Nasty Nate's, Nate's three quarter. They got the, uh, you used to be able to get them all over the place, man. They're tiny little floats. They use a toothpick. I love them for crappie fishing. And, well, we got a, what? <laughs> How many packs of them? Uh, Two, about three, eight. Four, five, eight Just packs so of those? Plenty. Yeah. Um, Crappie measuring. measuring. It's a uh, grip and check. I haven't seen one this big. Like you can get the, there's a the smaller ones I can get at Walmart. This thing's a good size. You can put a big old crappie. Just I feel like you could measure wiper in that thing. Slide that crappie straight in. Measuring board on the back, quick and easy. As long as it hits nine inches, which it looks like it's got it. Yeah, it's got it marked for a spot there. Yep, nine and then right at 10. And it looks like we can go all the way to 13, which I think is our fish Ohio marks. There, there are 14. We know if it sticks out, we need to put a good measurement on it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I think it's pretty nifty. It's way easier than trying to get them floppy things on a on board. What else did we get? Uh, just... You got some new boxes. You got one of the G boxes and uh, those ATX lures, you got a jig box from them. It's like a single latch, kind of like the G boxes. It's a low profile. It's got the slit, slotted foam in it for your jig heads. And pretty nifty for a jig head box. I, I like the slotted foam boxes. I, I got a ton of G boxes because I love them. And Rapala just come out with the new wrap stacks. They're pretty similar. I'm going to try and get some of those too. We got some bait knives from Smith, some ceramic bait knives, and uh, Brandon got a nice set of shears. See those? And uh, oh yeah, show them there. Magnetic and dishwasher Easy safe. Easy to clean. And then let's see. We we'll get into the big stuff here in a minute. Uh, am, I, am I missing some? Oh. I've been wanting to try these out called Rattle Rockets. Got some of these from Tackle Bandit. I love Tackle Bandit, man. They got everything. We got a lot of this stuff from Tackle Bandit. We probably went to the Tackle Bandit booth like eight times. <laughs> yeah. We just kept finding our way back there. We were on a first name basis with new people today. <laughs> but yeah, so they like the fins are, you know, cockeyed, kind of like, you know, propellers. And so the current makes that thing spin and they got some good rattles in them, so. I don't think you'd use it with a demon dragon. I mean, what, what's two rattles gonna do? I feel like uh, I, I gotta look some more into like what the exact applications are, but anything it could help you get a good strike. And then on to the bigger stuff. We got I got I had to have one of these, man. Got a T bar from Monster Rod Holders for the boat. So to lock it together, I gotta have the pull holder in the end, but I got their eight inch T-bar. I'm excited to put that back here and get my rod holders off the back of the boat. Uh, as you'll probably see from the thumbnail, we got a black light for the back of the boat to match our 
fancy hats that match our cat poles. Fancy. We just couldn't help ourselves. Nope. Got to represent catfish. And then uh, Brandon got him a real catfishing setup. He got him a ripping lips. Uh, what was the, what was it? Super cat and a mag cats. What model is that real? This one is the Mad Cats, the XALT 6550. It's good looking, real. Aluminum power handle. We'll see how it looks once we get that neon green. Yeah, he got some uh, line on there. Got a spool of, it's kind of like the slime line color. I love this color, man. Toughest freaking mono from the guys at freaking rods. <laughs> they, uh, they claim to be the toughest rod on the market, so you know, we'll see if they got the toughest line too. And then you gonna bring a rod over here and shut? Might as well. I'm sure, they've all seen catfish rod before. Yeah, I'm the one new to this. So you got the Super Cat, and it's uh, you know, standard EVA grip. Medium heavy action. I think he called it the Regal too. We noticed the black light didn't really hit the tip. It turns out the tip glows in the dark. So it's a good looking rod, seven foot six, medium heavy. Really good price too, it's 60 bucks. So that'll pair good with his Mad Cat's reel. What else did we get? I feel like I'm forgetting something. Is there something on the table we didn't talk about? No, that's her thing. Yeah, that covers it. So definitely ready to get back out on the water. Um, Heck, I'm ready to go buy more stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Money was spent today. Well worth it. Well, we'll find out. I don't want to speak too soon. That's like bad luck, ain't it? Yeah, we'll see. First catfishing trip, though. Definitely taking some of this dark water premium baits with us. Uh, I want to try the strawberry, but it depends on where we go. If we go to the river, we might take the garlic. I want to take it open up both packs right off the bat. Yeah, yeah, we're definitely Get greedy with it. Well, and the other one's already cut up, so it'd be a little easier to. Well, that's with. what we got bait knives and shears for. I know. We still need a cutting board. I got cutting boards everywhere. They're just like <laughs> turning green from use without wash. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, that was it on the table. Oh man, my eyes are dry. I'm gonna have to go to sleep soon. Oh well. Before I worry about sleeping, we're gonna put some line on this reel and take our thumbnail picture. All right, thanks for watching, guys. I'm Roger. This is Bill. <laughs> and uh, we'll see you on the next one.